man who got the call of a lifetime yesterday, Tyler Beatty, Lawrence Academy. We've talked about you. We showed the no-hitter earlier this year. You get the call last night, actually after Toronto picked you 21st overall. What was that moment like? Man, uh, you know, just having that moment with my family and friends was, you know, really a dream come true. Um, you know, having, uh, you know, family and friends that really got me to that point in my life uh, there at the party was was amazing. Uh, just mustache. to have that moment with them was, was really exciting. And we're not talking about mom, dad, and not an uncle. Right. You said there were, what, 120, 120 people? Yeah, together? friends from Lawrence Academy, Auburn, uh, family, friends, just all came out and it was very exciting. Important to you to share it with everybody? Very important, yes. Why? Um, you know, they got me to that point in my life. You know, without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Um, you know, I really just thought it was very important for them to come and celebrate with us. Talk about this year a little bit uh, as you roll on and the scout stuff showing up for every start. And we see the video, the guns going up every time you throw. What kind of challenge was that to block all that out and keep going about your business? Um, you know, it was very exciting to see them come to each game. Uh, it was a great opportunity to pitch in front of those guys, a tremendous honor. Uh, you know, I was really used to it, just, uh, you know, a few summers pitching in front of scouts like that. There was numerous scouts. Um, so I was, pretty, I was pretty much used to it. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of easy to block them out now, just, you know, me and the catcher and, and pitch them out in the game. Obviously, you've got some uh, decisions to make ahead of you here, but as you look at your progression as a pitcher, how much better are you now than a couple of years ago? What have you worked on? What have you developed over the years? Here? You know, a lot of it was uh, with my strength coach, Eric Cressy, and, and pitching coaches like Matt Blake and Lenny Selesky, uh kind of preparing me each offseason for kind of a list of things to do uh, and prepare to get better each year. Um, you know, with Eric just helping me get stronger, um, you know, in my legs and upper body and core. I was very key in my uh, player development and, and growth. Um, you know, Matt and Lenny both, uh, you know, helped me out mechanically when, when I had, you know, an off year or I needed to work on a pitch. You know, they were there to help me out and break down video and, um, you know, get a pitch to where it needed to be for the, for the spring season. Um, so, you know, without those three guys, you know, I wouldn't be here. And you're what, 6'4"? Six, 6'4", four? Six, four, yes. Well, wait, was there a growth spurt there? Did you have that big summer or a year where you kind of shot up? Uh, yeah, the first year I started working out with Cressy, probably sophomore year. Uh, you know, I gained 20, 30 pounds uh, real quickly in, in two inches. So I was 6'2 when I started with him, like 160, so. You kind of have to relearn some things a little bit. All of a sudden, you're a little lankier, a little taller. The, the, the wind-up's a little different. How yeah. was that transition? Uh, you know, it wasn't bad. He was uh, he was always helping me out each step of the way and, and kind of having those guys, you know, keep pushing me and working hard. It, it made it easy for me. We've talked to guys drafted over the years and no one's ever said I didn't want to get picked by them but I'll ask you what was it like to find out it was Toronto that made the pick? You know it's an amazing honor. Uh, Toronto's a great club. Uh, they're playing a great great league uh, you know with Boston and New York and, and all those teams and um, you know I'm just very excited for the opportunity and the decision I'm going to have to make soon. And of course John Farrell's there uh, yeah. growing up here in New England. Right. Uh, we know what he meant to, to the Red Sox. Yeah. Uh, did that mean a little something knowing that he was there because he's a guy who's worked great with pitchers over the yeah, years. Yeah pitching is you know key. Uh, you know, he's going to be able to work with the pitchers one on one um, and he's a head coach, so you know that that'll be a great, uh, great time. So it's a nice time uh, to be Tyler Beatty. I'm, assu uh, I'm assuming you're enjoying these days. I am, yes, sir. Well, congratulations uh, on being picked in the first round, and uh, enjoy every minute of it. Thank you so much for having me as well. Tyler Beatty with us here in studio. The draft rolling on Major League Baseball.